Hi, Gibbs families. It's great to be back and vlogging with you again. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend and Sunday greetings went out last night. So I'm hoping that some of the written summary um, helped you a, a little bit with our new planning for May 4th moving forward. I also put the link to the blog that I sent out last week on Thursday as well if you needed to have a refresh and watch that again. But this vlog is going to be a little less about updating and where we're going with our remote learning, a little more about some things that you can continue to do as a family that I think will help build on some of those skills I was talking about for kids and families and teachers um, in my previous vlogs. For example, growth mindset is one of those things. Uh, we talked about why behavior has a reason. And so I think some of these activities will help you to continue to make connections with your students your our students your kids so i am going to present my slideshow and as i am getting ready to do that i am excited about just showing you some simple activities that you can do at home with your students i keep calling them students your kids the first activity is a family playlist and this activity is under the topic of connecting. So music is good for the soul for sure. People create playlists for all sorts of reasons. You can be for working out or road trips, entertaining or just hanging around. One of my favorite things to do is listen to someone else's playlist. Why? Because it helps me to get to know that person and think about why that person likes or chose that song. Were they sad? Were they happy? Does it bring back a memory? So for me, my playlist that I, I worked on with my family included these songs, um, A Song for Everything by Maren Morris, Black Water by the Doobie Brothers, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles, and We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel. And there's reasons for each one of those songs being on that playlist. Um, you know, I feel like the first one describes what's going on right now in this activity. I feel like Black Water is a, is a song that gives me a memory of listening to with my dad. And then we got to see it perform live together by the Doobie Brothers. It was hap such a happy moment for me. Uh, Here Comes the Sun by the Beatles is a song that I sang to my daughter uh, and my oldest daughter, Allie. Uh, she's 17 now. And so when I hear that song, I think of you know the stages and phases that she's gone through. Um, and then we didn't start the fire. Well, I obviously like that one because I can sing every single word. And so that, that can be impressive when it comes on randomly on a radio station. Um, so those would be the four that I would add to my family playlist. And as you plan this activity as a family, you need to use some ways to brainstorm your selections. Um, we each chose those four songs. I just showed you mine. Um, the annotated piece of it is helps with the connection part. Um, and then creating this actual playlist on something like Spotify and listening to it often will help you feel connected to the people in your family and also learn a little bit more about them. Um, having fu Have fun feeling connected so if you try this activity out at home. The second one is called the virtual zoo. Uh, this one is to challenge your mind and your video skills. So there's two purposes for this one. It's, it's intellectually engaging and kids get to research. And two, you might practice making some videos, which... Um, I think is helpful for them as they're starting to think about new learning and maybe making final products and turning things into teachers. Um, animals are a great way to feel happy and to practice your research skills. The link in the email for this video has some suggested questions to research about an animal you might visit in a zoo, and I can show you that before our video ends. Each member of the family chooses an animal and uses the week ahead to research that animal. And then you prepare a short video about that animal, including a picture, and all the found information as if you were learning about the animal when visiting the zoo. So you wanna challenge yourself to pick unique animals, maybe animals you don't already know things about, set aside, set aside a time to actually go to the zoo, um, repeat it for a few weeks, see how big you can grow your zoo. Um, it will not only help your sixth grader and it will also help other school age children um, to keep researching, perhaps drawing if they draw the picture of their animal. Um, of course, you can really choose lots of ways to use this format. You could start an athletic hall of fame. You could have an art museum around specific artists or favorite paintings. You could take a tour around the United States and pick states. You could tour around the world and pick countries. 
You could do a how-to museum where you teach each other a new skill each week. You can create your own. Share with me. I can't wait to hear your ideas. I hope you have fun trying this activity. The next one is a scavenger hunt, and I can show you the page to the scavenger hunt as well. Uh, this encourages teamwork. Um, a teamwork scavenger hunt, the Gibbs staff actually is just finishing the weekend with a great team scavenger hunt, and it required us very much, very much to work as a team. Um, I I've given you a suggested hunt list. Um, you need to find a hunt master who's going to be keeping track of all of the things that are found by different teams. It's a great thing to do in a neighborhood with different families. Um, you would be texting pictures with your team name and your item number each time you find an item to your hunt master. Um, and I'm, I'll show you a little bit of, of what those suggestions are for the scavenger hunt. The next activity is adopt a cause, local or national. And this really um, helps us think about our core values of being understanding, unified, and unstoppable. You know, something that can help us feel like we have purpose and hope is to get involved in something that is important to us. Um, there are many ways to do this, uh, both financially and not financially. You know, it's important for kids to feel like they can give. Uh, some local places, uh, check out Arlington Eats. There's donation opportunities there, but there's also volunteering of time. Um, there's Arlington Boys and Girls Club. Check out the site. There's lots of ways to help. Um, Laura's Sewing School, um, which is um, in Arlington, they're doing a Making Masks project. So you can check them out to find out a little bit about that. And then think of ways to thank our workers, firefighters, police officers, essential employees, sending cards or shout outs or even little videos that maybe um, you can make with your, in your, within your neighborhood. Um, if they send you clips, would be um, a fun way to reach out and support the community. Um, it's perfectly linked to our core values at Gibbs. You know, you're trying to understand that there are so many people helping and making sacrifices, including us, uh, knowing that if we are unified and we help the helpers in ways that we can while we are keeping safe and social distancing, and this is how we become unstoppable as a community and as people. And then our last activity is work hard and enjoy. We all deserve to feel nourished. This activity is um, to help remind ourselves that there are we are going to have some challenging times, but we're also going to be able to have some times where we can say, I did it. You know, we're all working really hard. We're working hard to be flexible and flip our schedules and um, all sorts of things to make our routines work. So the, the next I did it chart that you're going to see could be for an individual person, so everyone would have their own, or it could be organized as a, um, a family. Here's mine. It is my personal chart, um, Mrs. DeFrancisco's I did it chart, and it's set up so that the squares, you could do it electronically. You could also do it just with, on, on a wall or with um, a piece of paper, a large piece of paper. Um, I can't move the post-its off now while I'm in my slide. Uh, but I will show you how they move off of the um, grid or the chart, and you'll see that it, there's a reward under each one of them. So I'll show you a few of those when we come out of the slideshow. Um, this format can also be used to compile what movie should we watch next, plan a month of meals, evening game choice activity, and add your own idea. So as I am moving out of that slide, I am going to show you the idea behind this is as you get through a tr tricky, tough day, you might go by month, by week, um, you move your post-it note off. Oh, tonight I get to watch 30 minutes of TV. Um, the next one, you move your post-it note off. Tonight I get to work on my puzzle. Um, so you get the idea. You can fill um, the chart up with things that you really like and then give yourself a little bit of a reward at the end of the day. Um, here is the scavenger hunt list I was talking with you about. So you'll have the link of that. I don't want to show too much of it because, you know, you might be doing this with a neighbor who is also seeing the slideshow. We don't want to give anyone an advantage. Um, and then there's also some questions here that I'll link to the email or that I linked to the email um, to get you going on what you might be wanting to research for an animal. And there you go, five activities for you to do while you're at home. Um, I hope you give some of these a try. Please let me know if you do. Uh, it will, they will help you to do some connecting, to do some reflecting, um, and to be thinking about growth mindset and how lucky we are to have the things that we do, looking for silver linings, working hard the best way that we can, 
um, staying safe, social distancing, and really being understanding, unified, and unstoppable. Have a great rest of the day and an even better week. Thanks for watching.